In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Mike Connolly and what makes him such a great defender when it comes to the NBA. Anyways, let's get down, let's check him out really quickly. If you want me to break down your basketball shooting form, make sure to go check out the link down below. I'll give you some different drills, tips, and workouts that you can use to be able to improve your shot. Okay, so in this first clip, we have Mike Connolly up in the top right. What he does here is he's able to pick off that pass, and then he's able to go in for that layup. So there's so many players on offense that make this same mistake. Here, what we see is LeBron James makes that pass over towards the wing, and that wing player, instead of going towards that ball, he's going towards the sideline. This is a massive mistake, and as a defender, you should be able to notice this so that you can pick off that pass. Now, what should happen is this player who's essentially posting up Connolly at the three-point line, he should be moving towards that ball. That should allow him to get that ball because he's really not that far off from getting it. However, because he's moving away from the ball and Mike Connolly is moving towards the ball, guess who's going to have that higher chance of getting that ball? It's going to be Mike Connolly, and that's what happens. Mike Connolly also has very active hands. So for example, he tries to stay in front of his defender. He's able to do that with his lateral quickness. That's what we can see here. And with his lateral quickness, he's able to stay in front. And then when that player picks up that ball and brings that ball up the middle of his body, he's able to have active hands and strips that ball away. Mainly because when you bring that ball up the middle of your body and you've got a defender in front of you, it's basically anyone's ball at that point. As long as that defender doesn't hack you in the arm, it's it's his and guess what that's what happens here now this is just a really smart play here this pass goes to another player from the player he was defending originally and he's able to pick it free so basically what happens is he wants to kind of reach in anyways you usually don't want to reach in when you're one pass away however this player's head faces straight towards the basket and because of that he's able to reach in and poke that ball free because that that player never protected that ball that player should have brought that basketball over towards his left hand to bring it up into a shooting form however that didn't happen he wanted to go from his right side up and in this case Mike Connolly was able to pick it free from him this is a mistake that even NBA players make, but I see this a lot with high schoolers, and that is when they go for a layup, they bring that ball way out in front of them. It is basically a free ball for me every single time they do it. So if you can watch the player who's driving on you, and you can actually stay right beside them, and then at this point, they start to bring that ball way out in front, guess what? Go down. If you hack their arm, who cares at that point? If they go for that ball or if you go for that ball guess what you're gonna be very successful and even if you aren't you'll hack their arm and they're gonna get two shots they're not gonna get a layup anyways this is another mistake very similar to the first one now what he's able to do here is when he sees that pass coming he's able to go and try to pick off that pass obviously if this was somebody like a Steph Curry or a Damian Lillard this could be technically a risky move however for a player who doesn't necessarily shoot from low go range guess what if that pass is going in front of you try to pick it off because this player especially is not moving towards that ball they're moving out towards the perimeter anytime you receive a pass on offense you should be going towards that ball that is a key key thing and if you don't the defense is going to steal that ball now anytime you make a cross court pass that is essentially a really bad pass unless the man is literally wide open and as we can see here he's not his man is way way into the key and if you make that pass if this player is not coming towards that ball when you're making that pass and there's a man slightly in front well guess what that ball is going to be picked off every single time and that's what we see here that was a massive mistake by him but however what we I really want to point out is the fact that he is able to get Mike Connolly that is is able to get into position on the help defense side to be able to pick off passes like that he's able to essentially 
act like he's trying to play help defense, which he could essentially be, and this isn't exactly a very deadly three-point shooter by any means. He's a good three-point shooter, but he's not deadly. You can actually pull stuff like this off. However, I personally wouldn't go any farther than the elbow, but this still would have been a picked-off pass either way. Now, something about Mike Connolly as well is his lateral speed. Here he's able to get around a screen, he's able to stay in front of Lillard, and then he's able to still keep his hand up and contest that shot without fouling. You don't want to foul a shooter, but you can make it hard by being a bit away from him and making it look like you're still going for the ball. Now if you've got a player driving towards the basket, here we have Gary Trent Jr. driving towards the basket, Mike Connolly is able to jump straight up and also with in the same direction as his offensive player. By having the principle of verticality, which means that your body is going straight up and down, as long as you're not jumping into the player who you're defending, then at that point, you can contest that shot. And Obviously, Gary Trent Jr. missed that shot. However, by keeping your body straight up that hand in junior basketball or high school basketball could be troublesome because you do not want to have your hand on their back when they're going up for a shot. However, at the same time, in the NBA at least, that is a very good play. I hope that these tips can help you become a better defender in basketball. If they do, hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to go check out the link down below where I can break down your shot, and I'll see you guys again next time.